poetry yeah. Pull it in the chamber, waiting till they get a load of me Dialing from the rotary, the other end's a ringtone It's like I'm at the 20, running to the other end zone Never had a pretty woman keep me in the friend zone Trying to worry not, what about any of my friend zone? Return so much, I probably parent till the sin's gone Weed under the button, the scent strong Phone's still off limits like a motherfucker slanging Mary Delivery on time, every time, steady, very Good intention, but the honest very Trying to find this peace of mind and count it out as monetary My thoughts are forming into sentences No telling when this evolution sends it into exodus I'm not just out for the reference Understood that getting is good, at least the present is Chemistry underrated, your fundamentals basic Run the matrix, no dispute, I'm undebated Beat banging like it's blood related Elegance is understated Orchestrations leave you sedated Back fresh, recuperated Brothers in step, highly awaited Long time coming, rhyme dumbing Pour something, Bacardi lime Rum inside a cup, stomach rubbing Opinions borderline jaded Stretch out accounts, blackboard to Sketch out the routes, stop short Stepped out the house in Venice Bear witness, word scripted Three dimension vivid, exceed the limits Meanwhile I pencil in the digits Against the white wall spinning Levi dinners and crushed linen Kangaroo coat with the custom stitches Serve dishes, dirty soup kitchen Heavy hitter, I swing it whenever you pitching Double the list Double the list Even cutting corners, own it like a scar in the face. Stand tall where they're taking the gold or in last place. Not really the one to give God praise. But if you got the gospel, then tell me how it tastes. Hallelujah. Biting on the bullet for strength. I'm a long distance runner, sucker. I'm in it for length. Huh? It's not a matter of whether or not you can play, but a scale of if you give a fuck enough to make us stay. Lay it down. Separate the men from the mice. Another body done the halogen lights, missing its life. Wondering what the hell will make you think that you can judge another person for loving something so much it hurts his stomach, huh? Living by the blood in my neck. With a bullseye tatted on the back of my head I never spoke it how they wanted to be said So they left me for the winner in the wolves Tear me to the shreds, rip me to the bits Tear another page out, punch me in the ribs I can smell the poison on your lips Whatever it is, I'd be willing to bet They wanna get inside my head Tell me how it is, sitting in a towel With a rifle in the list I can see the razor on your lips Whatever it is, I'd be willing to bet You should've had I don't believe in sitting down Take it like a knife in the back You burnt out into nothing after striking a match I've never been the type to follow the pack So if it's true you got the answers Then why the hell you so mad then? Another Holy Ghost laid script Clip the rings off of my words and bury this shit Ain't wanna pick apart the passion in my ribs I invite them Cause I don't run away from shit Lay it out Separate the guns and the flowers The minutes that go into all these hours And I bet if you were given this mission Of just the tip of the iceberg I've had to struggle with you with an act so sour Maybe not Living off the fruit of my stress With a size 12 boot heel Stepping on my chest Didn't do it how they wanted it to end So they threw me to the winner in the wolves Tear me to the shreds Rip me to the bits Tear another page out Punch me in the ribs I can smell the poison on your lips Whatever it is they wanna get inside my head Tell me how it is Sitting in a towel with a rifle in the list I can see the razor on your lips Whatever it is I'd be willing to bet You should've held your breath Smell the poison on your lips Whatever it is
Teams taking the ice. As we begin game three of this series, the first two games were split. And net for Montreal is Senor Besuquers. Otto, of course, starting center. Off the faceoff, Otto sends it to Ike. And he pushes it up the boards. Tony Flo recovers it in his own. Trying to get to Dow. Ends up sending it the rest of the way behind the net, and it's taken by Travis Konechny. In the center ice, Ike takes it, deeks one of the Dallas skaters. Now Kiwi sends it around the boards to Tony Flo. Tony Flo keeps it moving, but on the turnover, Taser sends it over the net. Kiwi to Dow in the Montreal zone. Ike and KS Auto able to get the puck away from the Dallas skaters. Kiwi and Dal fighting for possession. Omaha passes it to KS Auto. KS Auto passes it to Taser. At center ice, Taser is able to keep it moving, but the puck is going to get taken by Kiwi. But that's okay. Auto takes possession. He's coming into the zone. And Auto scores. Off the face-off. Travis Konechny to Dal. Dal deeks KS Auto and enters the zone. KS Auto gets his stick on it. And now Taser dumps the puck out of the zone to Ike at center ice. Dumped back into the Montreal zone. Senor leaves his crease to play it. Sends the puck up to Taser. Taser with a long shot that's on net. Gun for hire makes the save. Tony Flo looking for Dal, but Omaha gets his stick on it. KS Auto now with the puck. Behind his own net and then sends it up the boards to Ike.
Now Taser sends the puck to KS Auto. KS Auto has it at center ice, crossing into the zone. Fancy pass to himself off the boards, but it's turned over. Tony Flo sending it around the boards to Dow. Dow with a long shot on net. Good save by Senor. Tony Flo up the boards to Travis. Puck taken by KS Auto. Potentially taken by Dal, is taken by Dal. Tries to out Deke Omaha, but the play is broken up. Puck turned on net. Senor clears it. KS Auto trying to break out with it. Fails to do so. Tony Flo dumps it back into the Montreal zone, where Omaha. Gets possession, sends it up the boards to Taser. Finds KS Auto at center ice. KS Auto tries to deke Dal, or Kiwi, I think. Dal ends up with possession. Entering the Montreal zone, Dal loses control of the puck. Travis Konechny sends the puck back into the Montreal zone where Dal takes it, sends it across the boards to Tony Flo. And on the turnover, Taser has the puck. A long shot and a good save by Gun for Hire. Tony Flo up the boards, turned over to Taser. Taser takes another shot and another good save. Now a point shot from KS Auto. Blocked. I believe Tony Flo's stick got in the way. That was Kiwi that blocked that shot. Pass just barely misses Dow's stick. Senor takes control of it and dumps the puck up to Ike, but it's batted back in. Great positioning by Senor as he was able to bat that puck out of the air as it unexpectedly flew back to him. A breakout chance for Dal. He hits the post with the shot. KS Auto receives the puck, but the play is broken up by uh, one of the Dallas defenders. That closes out the first period. Montreal, the only team able to score. Off the face-off, KS Auto able to get the puck to Omaha. Omaha rips it around the boards to Taser. Ike able to get a stick on it, but he's gonna have to beat the defender, and he does. The defender got his stick on it, but wasn't able to poke the puck away. Omaha with the puck in his own zone sends it over to Taser. Turn over at center ice. Tony Flo with it now. Another turnover as Taser takes it in a long shot. Good save by Gun for Hire. Taser with the puck at the blue line. It's fighting for it. Multiple turnovers. Tony Flo just dumps the puck into the zone. Physics play. As the puck bounces all around the ice. A crazy physics play. I think the skaters are trying to direct it on net. Kiwi with the pass around the boards to Tony Flo. Tony Flo back to Kiwi. Kiwi whiffs a little bit on the pass, but successfully able to keep it moving. Dal and Taser stick meet to sticks meet. Sends the puck around the boards. KS Auto with it now at center ice. Turned over. Dal pulling away with it. And a shot by Dal blocked by Omaha. And it's dumped in by Kiwi high above the net. 
Travis Kadekny passing it back to Kiwi so he can take a shot, but it's way wide. Tries to direct it to the slot, but it's turned over. Omaha has the puck. KS Auto sends it down the ice. Ping is spiking a little bit, I think. I don't know. I'm losing some frames, but... Ike just trying to keep that puck away from Dal, and he does. He takes a shot and makes gun for hire and make the save. Gun for hire takes a long shot. I think he was looking for Dal's stick, but it was broken up by Omaha. Dal eventually getting possession, directing it in front of the net, but it's turned over and sent back down the length of the ice. Tony Flo looking for Travis Konechny. Finds him, but he sends it high above the net. Dal behind the Montreal net. Sends it to Travis Konechny. Travis pass back to the defender, Kiwi, with a shot. And makes Senor make the save. And Kiwi with another rebound chance. And he gets it. And we have a 2-1 to one hockey game. Face off, KS Auto back to his defender, Omaha. Taken by Ike. On net, good save by Gun for Hire. KS Auto directing it in front of the net to Ike. And a great pass. And a great shot by Ike. Omaha to KS Auto. Puck poked by, uh, well, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Tony Flo with the puck now in the Montreal zone behind the net. He chooses to pass to Kiwi. Kiwi dumps it back behind the net. Dow racing for possession. He gets it. A wraparound attempt, but it's blocked. Tony Flo falls back, 20 seconds left in the second period. Kiwi looking for a pass. Puck ends up on Taser's stick, I believe. Long shot, gun for hire, clears it. And that'll do it for the second period. Ten minutes played and four goals. Ike with two goals for Montreal. Chaos Auto with two points, a goal and an assist. And Kiwi with a lone goal, unassisted for Dallas. Shot almost directed on net by the defenseman, but Dow takes possession. And Puck gets cleared out of the zone. Kiwi falls back. In his own zone with it now, Kiwi tries to pass the Dow, but it misses him. It's the side of the net. Dow pokes it away from Omaha. Omaha getting away from Dow, passes it to his defensive partner, Taser. Bumped into the zone, it's turned over. Travis Kadekny with a long shot. I think Dow. I think Dow was looking for uh, to take the goal. <laughs> he stopped it in front of the net. Puck taken by KS Auto. He's entering the zone all alone. And a good goal by him.
Off the face-off, it goes back to Dallas. Whoops, wrong camera. Jumped into the, into the Dallas zone, Kiwi sends it around the boards to Dow. Omaha with the puck now, shoots it up, and it's batted out of the air by KS Auto. Good stick work by him. Long shot by Taser, great save by Gun for Hire. Tony Flo getting past KS Auto. And KS Auto with the pass up to Ike, he's trying to direct it on net, but it goes wide. Tony Flo sends it up the boards to Dal. It's poked away. KS Auto with the puck. He's out in front in the defense. Succeeds. Omaha with a shot from the point. The defense the defensive point. And the puck goes back down the ice. Omaha with it behind his net. Hits the side of it. I don't think he intended to do that. And it's dumped into the Dallas zone. Dal not able to reach the boards in time, so Omaha takes the puck. Pass broken up by Ike, but or pass to Ike, but it was broken up by one of the Dallas defense. Kiwi with the shot goes to the right of the net. Omaha whiffs on that pass, so the Dallas skaters clear the puck back into the Montreal zone. A minute 20 left in the third period. Montreal with a three goal lead. And Ike now has a breakaway. Ike beats the goaltender. Off the face off, KS Auto to Ike. KS Auto with the puck in the corner of the Dallas zone. Kiwi able to get it away from him. Pass to Travis Konechny. And the shot is blocked by Ike. Turned on net, but the defense clears the puck. Back into the Montreal zone, past the Tony flow. He tries to direct it on net. Travis Konechny back to Kiwi. Shot is blocked by Omaha, and Ike clears the puck back to center ice. Directed on net, almost bounces over Senor's stick, but he sees it. And clears the puck to center ice. Ike carries it into the Dallas zone, he's out in front. A great save to close out the third period. A great series of saves by Gun for Hire to close out the third period. Montreal takes the lead in the series, two to one. Now they waste no time, as both teams are already on the ice.
starting face off. KS Auto over to Ike. It's usually how it goes. A puck taken by KS Auto in the zone. Deeks, the goaltender, gets past Gun for Hire. And a great goal by KS Auto to open up the first period. Off the faceoff, Travis Konechny gets his stick on it. But KS Auto enters the zone with the puck. Turnover now, Tony Flo. Turnover again, Ike with the puck. It's cleared out of the zone, Omaha will get there. And he dumps the puck that's on net. Gun for hire makes the save. Flo dumps the puck out. Travis Konechny shot blocked by Omaha. My frames are suffering and I don't know why. Almost a goal. Goaltender flailing. <laughs> Tony Flo with the clear up to Travis Konechny, taken by Taser at center ice. And a shot. Great receive by KS Auto, but it was blocked, I believe. Don't know how it happened, but the puck ended up behind the net. Dumped into the zone, Ike races to the puck. He's beaten by Kiwi, who dumps the puck back into the Montreal zone. And taser to Ike. Ike trying to find KS Auto. And a turnover as Kiwi dumps the puck. Taser dumps the puck back. Omaha has the puck in his zone, goes around the boards to his defensive partner, Taser. Taser just barely misses Ike's stick at center ice. Tony Flo keeps the puck in the zone. Omaha takes it. Turnover, Dow with the puck. Almost on net, that was a shot wide. Esato just barely missing that pass. Tony Flo takes it in his own zone. Goes around the boards, looking for Dow. Taken by Ike. The shot goes wide of the net. Another attempt by Taser. Okay, Asado has the puck. Almost a shot on net, but it's blocked. Tony Flo with the block. A long shot by Tony Flo. That hits the post. Cleared by Senor. Travis Konechny staying with the puck. Hazer with the good block to send the puck to center ice. Senor able to keep that puck away from Dow. But Kiwi with the poke on KS Auto. Travis Konechny keeps the puck into the zone and Dow picks it up. Dow over to Travis Konechny. He misses the pass. Bouncing puck. It settles down behind the Dallas net. Kiwi sends it up the boards to Tony Flo. Back behind his own net. Tony Flo with it. Pass blocked by Ike. Ike to KS Auto. Montreal trying to turn around in the final 30 seconds. KS Auto just playing with the puck now. Dow giving him a challenge.
close out the period. Only one goal scored. I believe much like the first game of the night. Off the face-off, Otto to Ike. Dumped back to the Montreal zone. Taser to Ike at center ice. Ike with the shot. Block by Gun for Hire. Travis Konechny was looking for Dow with that pass, but he ends up finding Omaha. Omaha to KS Otto. Otto trying to exit his own zone with the puck. Turnover at center ice as Tony Flo takes it into the Montreal zone. Directed in front of the net, Dow. Some confusion in front of the net. Dow takes advantage of it, and we have a tie game. Off the faceoff, Omaha ends up with the puck. Around the boards to Taser. Travis Konechny blocking that pass. A shot on net. Goes wide. Tony Flo sends the puck behind his own net up the boards to Dal. Taser getting his stick on it. Makes the pass to Ike. Ike with possession. Blocked by Tony Flo, and Kiwi dumps the puck. Taken by Taser. Now Travis Konechny exits the, the zone with the puck. With a dump of the puck. Yes, yeah, Otto carries the puck into the zone, and the shot goes wide. Dumped back into the Montreal zone, lands behind the net. Omaha picks it up. Goes back to KS Auto. Auto to Taser. Taser with a long shot trying to find Ike. Taken by Kiwi, and he dumps it up the ice. Bounces over Omaha's stick, and Senor will have to make the save. Travis Konechny up to Dal. Able to keep it. Travis Konechny goes down the boards to Tony Flo. Tony Flo directing it to Dal. Almost a shot attempt. That's blocked by Kiwi. Dal with the shot. They take the lead. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Off the faceoff, KS Auto pokes it past Travis Konechny. But Travis Konechny with the shot, blocked by the goaltender, Dow with the rebound chance. It's dumped back to the defenseman. And a good pass, but the shot went high. Tony Flo off the board pass to Kiwi and a shot. Good save by Senor. Travis Konechny with the pass to the slot. Blocked by Otto. Dow with the puck. Pass to Travis Konechny. Just misses him. Travis Konechny with the pass to Dow. K. 
AS Auto. It's a little too slow. The puck is taken by Ike, but it's batted in by Tony Flo. Just to the left of the net. Omaha carrying it behind his net and a pass up to center ice. He's looking for Ike. Pass blocked by Tony Flo. Poked up to Dow, and Dow dumps the puck into the Montreal zone. Omaha to Taser, but Dow blocks the play. Travis Konechny with a great centering chance. Dallas, I believe they would have scored if they had another two seconds on the clock. Off the faceoff, Otto to Ike. Poked up by one of the Dallas skaters. Taser to KS Otto gets past Tony Flo. Otto carrying it into the zone. Good stop by Gun for Hire. Travis Konechny behind his own net. Dumps the puck up to Dal at center ice. Omaha takes the puck in his own zone. Goes around the boards, finds Taser. Now KS Otto, breakaway chance. Good save by Gun for Hire. Kiwi with the dump out of the zone, looking for Dow, went a little too hard. Omaha with the pass up the boards to Taser. Taser. On the turnover, Tony Flo took the shot and a good save. Travis Konechny directing the pass in front. Dow keeps the puck moving around the boards where Tony Flo will take possession. Good keep by Travis Konechny at the blue line. And a shot turned on net. Good save by Senor. KS Otto taking the puck out of his zone. And center ice makes the pass to Taser. Taser with the shot. And that's a goal. I think Gun for Hire was caught off guard. Off the faceoff, Travis Konechny gets it to Dow. Poked away by KS Auto, he takes it at center ice. Entering the zone, KS Auto. Defense breaks up the play. Dow takes the puck, and a shot by Dow. He gets a hat trick. He has all three goals for Dallas tonight. Off the faceoff, Travis Konechny almost getting past KS Auto, but he takes it. Now KS Auto. Ooh. KS Auto saying, not yet. There's still two minutes. Just over two minutes left in the game. Omaha turns the puck over, but bodies Travis Konechny. Stops the play. Al makes the play to Kiwi. Kiwi keeps it moving up the ice. Dumps the puck all the way back. Two minutes left in the third period. Omaha makes the play to Otto. Pass the Taser, just off target, but Ike's going to take it. Directs it to the front, kind of to the front. KS Auto keeps the puck in the zone. Good stick work by Ike. As the puck lands to the side of the net. KS Auto with the puck. Looking for the play. It's broken up. Taken by Taser and a shot. Score! Montreal takes the lead. 
It's four to three. Off the faceoff, Travis Konechny to Dow. Shot turned towards the net, but it goes wide. Omaha over to Taser. Taser keeps it going, but it's blocked by Tony Flo. Keeping the puck moving into the zone, Tony Flo. It's under 60 seconds left. Senor clears the puck the length of the ice. Kiwi will recover it. Back to Tony Flo now. And pass made to Travis Konechny. Goes back for Tony Flo. Takes a long shot and is blocked by a defense. By the defense. Gun for hire coming way out of his net to make that play. 20 seconds left. Five seconds to go. And that's game. And just like that, the Dallas Stars could be facing elimination in their next game. Montreal has the lead on the, of the series 3-1. to one. Coming up next is Hamilton versus Hartford. I believe that takes place in Don't Taze Me Bro.
song for a dead songwriter that wrote their own songs about life and death And every breath is full of self-awareness Don't ever be afraid to be embarrassed So I wrote these words to describe what I cry about But I'm certain if you were here right now You'd ridicule these lyrics You'd hate this chorus And probably tell me that the concept is too straightforward Flicker
Team's taking the ice. Split series again, tied one to one. Off the face off. Dildozer gets his stick on it and pokes it through. The defense, countryside jammer, takes it. Bakes it off the boards to Gabe. And a good shot, but it goes wide. Crab in a tree, the rebound shot that went around the boards. And BGP keeping it at the red line. And a good shot by BGP keeps it going. And he scores the first goal just 31 seconds in. Off the faceoff, Gabe sends it back to his defender. BGP with the shot just went a little too high. Damn, getting out of his zone, just barely missing. Dildos are on the way. Crab in a tree will get there. Sends it around the boards looking for BGP. Goes behind his net, mishandles it, and is bodied by Dildozer. Narg takes it and clears it up the boards to Gabe. Gabe takes a shot. I'm not sure if Goose made the save or not, but good stick work by the defense to keep the puck out. Intercepted by BGP, shot towards the net, but it's wide. Countryside Jammer, JSL pass off the boards. And Crab in a Tree from the red line is going to dump the puck into the zone. Gabe will get there. D-Man Jerry on the turnover pass up to Zam. It's taken by Countryside Jammer. D-Man Jerry with a shot from behind the blue line went just wide. Countryside Jammer going to Crab in a Tree. Tries to dump the puck all the way up to BGP. He finds BGP. Pass over to Gabe. And a shot hits the side of the net. Poked out of the zone by D-Man Jerry. Dildos are racing for possession. Narg gets there and sends it back up the boards to BGP. Keeps it moving up. Gabe almost gets his stick on it. Taken by Germs. Sent back to D-Man Jerry. Crab in a tree blocking that pass. D-Man Jerry sends the puck around the boards to Zam. Poked by BGP. Pass back to Gabe. It's taken away by Zam. BGP controlling the puck in his own zone goes around the boards to Countryside. Off the boards, Crab in a Tree misses the puck, but he bodies Dildozer. Narg keeping the puck away from Zam, waiting until the last second to, sh to dump the puck. Poked away from Gabe as D-Man Jerry makes the pass and is dumped up to Zam. Countryside Jammer to Crab in a Tree. Looking for Gabe, pass intercepted by Zam. Keeps his stick on it, and a shot blocked by Crab in a Tree. Countryside Jammer around the boards finds Gabe. Gabe dumps the puck on net, Goose. Looking for the pass to Zam. 
taken by Countryside Jammer, sent around the boards. It's going to get to Crab in a Tree. Crab in a Tree enters the zone, and a shot blocked by Goose. Gabe with the rebound chance, but the defender's stick is there. Dildos are collecting the puck in his own zone. Taken by BGP at the blue line, but Dildozer keeps it moving. Gabe with the puck in his own zone goes around. He's going to dump the puck out. Around the boards, Gurms to Jerry. Jerry sent just wide of the net. I believe he was looking for Dildozer. Close out the first. Only one goal scored, and it's Hamilton. Off the faceoff, it's taken by Hartford. <laughs> Back to D-Man Jerry. Around the boards to Dildozer. Misses his stick, crab in a tree, takes it. Turns around with it. Looking for Gabe. It was a soft pass. Dr. Germs takes it and sends it back up the ice. Crab in a tree collects it behind his own net. And a long shot, crab in a tree. Good save by Goose. That wasn't going to go in. If anything, it was going to hit the crossbar. But it could have landed in front of the net, so a good play by Goose. As D-Man Jerry dumps the puck out of his zone. Zam gets the puck poked away from him by Countryside Jammer, but Germs keeps it in. Crab in a tree. Dumps the puck back into the Hartford zone. Taken by D-Man Jerry and passed up where it's shot by Gabe. I believe that was Gabe anyways. Crab in a tree. Shot blocked by Germs. Germs takes it. And a shot save by Nargula. Gabe gets past Zam and Germs and chooses to dump the puck past Dildozer and D-Man Jerry. D-Man Jerry takes possession. And Gabe takes the puck, enters the Hartford zone, deeks everyone, shot couldn't beat the goalie. Intercepted by Gabe. Deeks Zam loses control of it. Tries to move up behind the net, but the defense was there to block him. Dumped out of the zone by the Hartford defenders. Narg comes out of his net to control it. Dumps the puck back down the ice where Gabe looks to take it. He does behind the net. Poked away from Zam now. Tries to dump the puck up to Dildozer. Went a little too far. So Crabnatree passes it to his partner, Countryside Jammer. Intercepted by Zam. And hits the top of the net and is turned over. Whoops. Under two minutes left in the second period. It's redirected in front of the net. Countryside Jammer to BGP. BG gets his second goal of the game. Off the faceoff, Dildozer's stick beating uh, uh, Hamilton Center's stick. And Crab in a Tree dumps the puck up the ice, stopped by D-Man Jerry. Zam takes it. Loses control of it, Crab in a Tree with it again, minute 30 to go. Hard body, BGP falls over, but he gets back up quickly. Dumped in by Countryside Jammer. Wide of the net. Shot.
shot by BG. Good save by Goose. Dildozer with the puck. Tries to get it out of his zone. He does. It's kept in. Germs with the puck. Dumps it up the ice. That's on just wide of the net. Countryside trying to get away from Dildozer. Passes to Crab in a tree. Zam keeps the puck in. It rolls behind the net. Countryside Jammer and Dildos are fighting for it in the corner. Gabe takes it. Carries it out of his zone. Looking for BG in front. Good save by Goose. Grabbing a tree blocks that pass. Sends it up to BG from the shot from the blue line. Hits the crossbar. Goose dumps the puck up. Misses Dildozer's stick. Narg comes out. That closes out the second period. Hamilton adding some insurance this period. Harford's going to want to a little more pressure if they want to take the lead in this hockey series. The face-off, Gabe loses it to Zam. Zam dumps the puck past the goaltender, crabbing a tree, up the boards to BG. Looks for Gabe, just barely misses his stick, sends it wide of the net. Germs misses it. But Goose is there to take control of the situation, dumps the puck out of the zone. BG puts it back in. Sent up to Dildozer. A good shot by Dildozer. He beats the goaltender. And Hartford has their first goal of the game. Off the faceoff, Gabe beats Dildozer. Sent back into the Hamilton zone, Crab in a tree recovers it. Countryside Jammer dumps the puck up to BG, but it's turned over. D-Man Jerry sends it back to center ice. Good block by D-Man Jerry. That was a shot by Crab in a tree. Countryside Jammer with the pass to Crab in a tree. Cab Crab in a tree trying to find BG. Taken by the Hartford defense. Poked away from Dildos or D-Man Jerry though with the shot. Blocked away by the defense. Narg, thinking about leaving this crease, chooses not to. Crab in a tree, almost messing that chance up. Almost let D-Man Jerry have a goal. Countryside Jammer with a shot from behind the blue line beats the goaltender, and Hamilton has a 3-1 lead. Off the faceoff, Gabe, but it goes to Zam. Back to Gabe, and Gabe dumps the puck. Germs dumps the puck up to Dildozer. Dildozer and Crab in a tree in a race. Dumped away by Countryside Jammer. Goose leaving his crease to make the play. Pass up to Zam. Crab in a tree takes it in his own zone. Behind the net. Goes back to BG. BG shoots the puck up to Gabe. Gabe with a pass to himself off the boards. D-Man Jerry breaks up that play. Dildozer comes in, dumps the puck up, turned over to Crab in a tree. Shot that goes wide of the net. Dr. Gurm sends it around the boards. Misses Zam's stick. Crab in a tree takes it. In the slot, Crab in a tree. Gets it past Goose. And Hamilton has a 4-1 lead. Off the faceoff, Dildozer gets it to the defense. And D-Man Jerry takes a long shot that goes wide of the net. Zam has the puck behind the net, tries to direct it in front. But Hamilton 
loses possession of it in front. And Zam with his first goal of the game. Hartford saying they're not out of it yet. Off the faceoff, Gabe wins it, but Zam takes it. BG behind his own net. Dumps the puck up. Looking for Gabe and a shot misses his stick. The puck misses his stick. Almost hit the side of the net there. Countryside Jammer with the shot, but it's blocked by Zam. Dr. Germs pulling in front of Zam, taking the puck and a shot that goes wide. Taken by Dildozer past the defense. D-Man Jerry with it now. Hard angle shot, but it was blocked by Gabe. Dr. Germs takes the shot, but it was redirected too high. Germs keeps it in the zone. Zam controls it behind the net. And the shot goes in. There's 45 seconds left, and Hartford's only down by one. Off the faceoff, Dildozer, but BG pulls away with it. Dumps the puck behind the Hartford net. D-Man Jerry in front, almost turning it over to BG. BG behind the net now. Goose is out of the crease. A shot goes wide. BG takes possession, turns it on net, but that one's wide too. Zam tries to get out of the zone. Deep countryside jammer fails to do so. Seven seconds left. BG with a shot, and BG with three seconds to go completes the hat trick. Hamilton will win this hockey game. And Hamilton takes a 2-1 lead in the series. Teams are ready again. Take a look at the NHL scoreboard for the night. Some games not pictured. Teams ready to come back already as Hartford takes the ice. Looks like the teams are ready. I'm 
Looks like they're going with the same lineup from last game. Off the face-off, Dildozer over to Zan. To Germ. Sorry about that delayed change. Countryside Jammer sends it up to BG. BG with the pass to Gabe, broken up by Dildozer. In front. Couldn't get some mustard on it. That was Gabe that tried to take that shot. Broken up by D-Man Jerry, taken back by Gabe, passed a crab in a tree. Looking for the pass, crab in a tree sends it up. Countryside Jammer trying to turn it on net, it's taken by Zam. Kept into the zone, BGP, bouncing puck in front of the net, Gabe just barely misses the puck with his stick. Sent up into the Hamilton zone by Dildozer. D-Man Jerry with a dump into the Hamilton zone. BG takes the puck behind the net. Sends it up the boards, it's just blocked by Zam. Crab in the tree looking for Gabe. Turned over in a shot, blocked by Narg. Gabe determined not to turn it over to Zam. Deeks him, gets around him. Looking to get around him, anyways. Chooses to dump the puck. Lands just to the side of the net. BG. Pass off the boards. Gabe sends it high. Dr. Gurm sending that out of his zone. D-Man Jerry with the final dump up. Countryside Jammer with the pass up the boards to Gabe. It gets around Dr. Germs. A shot by Gabe batted out of the air by D-Man Jerry. Germs keeps that puck moving up the boards trying to find Zam. Narg comes out of his net and he's going to get there before Zam will. Pass made to BG. Gabe is up the ice but the pass is blocked by D-Man Jerry. Crab in a tree in his zone with it. Pass to BG. And sent up to Countryside Jammer. Gets around Dildozer. Jammer with the puck in the zone. Jammer trying to pass to BG. Just off target. BG with the shot to Gabe. Crab in a tree dumps it in. Now it's taken by Zam. Sent up looking for Dildozer. And it's blocked by Crab in a tree. Sent up to BG in the Hartford zone. Crab in a tree takes a shot, goes wide. Zam takes the puck out of his zone. And a shot went wide. D-Man Jerry hits the side of the net. Dr. Germ stopping that puck at the red line. Zam directs that on net. Couldn't beat the goaltender's stick. Narg with another great save there. That one was going to go high, but he stopped it. 30 seconds to go Country in the first. Countryside Jammer dumps the puck on net. 
a chance there, but they couldn't shoot the puck. Gabe coming up for a chance shot wide. Zam dumps the puck out of his zone. Kept in by Countryside Jammer, and that'll close out the first period. No goals scored in the first period, second game of the Hartford-Hamilton series. Close game. Off the faceoff. Goes back into the Hartford zone behind the net where D-Man Jerry will take it. Stunt, sends it up the ice. Blocked by Countryside Jammer. Turned over. Jammer tries to pass to Gabe, I think, is the one that turned it on net, but it went wide. BG passed to Gabe. Gabe with the pass off the boards and another shot hits the crossbar. Buck taken by D-Man Jerry. Shot. Beats the goaltender's stick, but couldn't beat the post. Narg keeps his cool and dumps the puck out. And now Gabe has a chance. Poked away by Goose. BG now with a shot. Saved by Goose. BG still with the puck. Another shot hits the post. BG goes back to Countryside Jammer. And a shot that goes wide. Dildozer takes the puck, sends it over to Dr. Germs. And is dumped back in by Crab in a Tree. Gabe takes possession as he enters the zone. And a shot batted out of the air by D-Man Jerry. Directed in front of the net, but Goose keeps his stick there. And a shot goes wide. Gabe backskating. Now pass to Zam at center ice. Keeps the puck moving up the boards. Dildozer gets his stick on it, but turns it over to Countryside Jammer. Countryside Jammer carries, carries the puck up the ice and dumps it. Almost a shot on net. That one wide. BG trying to direct it in front. It ends up behind the net, crabbing a tree with it. And it's dumped back into the Hamilton zone. Good work by Zam to keep the puck into the Hamilton zone. Zam is behind the net with the puck. Pass to his defender, D-Man Jerry, and a shot goes on Dildozer's stick in about halfway into the second. Midway through the game, we have our first goal. Off the faceoff, Dildozer goes back to his defense. Not, or not in our goose. We'll dump the puck up to center ice. Countryside Jammer enters the zone with the puck. Deeks some skaters, but couldn't beat that last one. The puck is poked away from him. BG with the puck. Tries to turn it on net. Shot wide. Zam takes it. Poked away by BG. Taken again by Zam. Pass to D-Man Jerry. Almost dumped out of the zone. Blocked. Back to Goose, who will succeed in dumping it. Countryside Jammer behind his own net. Goes back to Gabe. Almost sends it in front of his own net, but keeps his cool and dumps the puck. Almost turned on net. BG, crab in a tree, decides he's going to take matters into his own hands and ties the game up. Off the faceoff, Dildozer over to Zam. Taken by Gabe. And poked away by Dr. Germs. That was D-Man Jerry, I'm sorry. Zam with the puck in his own zone. Dumps it up the ice, looking for Dildozer. He finds him. Goes back to Dr. Germs. Zam loses control of it and is turned over. Pass up to Gabe, misses his stick. Poked away, sent back down the ice. 
taken by crab in a tree goes around his net I don't think BG meant to do that <laughs> That was definitely a shot back into his own zone, BG. Taken by Zam, 20 seconds to go. Hartford maybe looking to break this tie. Shot on net, good save by Nark. BG sends it up the boards to Gabe, but it's turned over by Dr. Germs. Dumps it down the ice once again. Crab in a tree dumps the puck, and that's going to close out the second period. Tie game still. Just this time, it's 1-1. One one. Off the faceoff, Dildozer sends it back to his defense. I'm losing a lot of frames here. Clearly, this is the last game. Zam almost gets away clean with it, shot high. Crab in a tree dumps it down the ice. D Man Jerry will get there first. Dumped up the boards, taken by Zam. Passes him. Crab in a tree will recover it defensively. Dumped on net. Good stop by Goose. And shot back into the zone. D-Man Jerry sends it around the boards to Dildozer, who continues moving the puck up the ice. Narg will need to make a play. Crab in a tree carries the puck into the zone. Pass over to Gabe. Just misses his stick. Countryside Jammer with the shot. Just misses the net. Dr. Germs with the pass over to Zam. Taken by Dildozer. Pass to Zam. And a shot. He's blocked by the defense. Kept in by D-Man Jerry. Goes around the boards to Dildozer, who passes it off the boards. In front, as that was Zam with a great shot that hit the crossbar. Dildozer trying to pass that to D-Man Jerry. W waits patiently for it, and a shot. Directed away from the net. Dr. Germs almost loses control of that puck at center ice. Ends up dumping it behind the net. Countryside Jammer will collect it. Goes back. Sends it across the ice to Crab in a Tree. Turned in front by Gabe, and Gabe scores off the pass from Crab in a Tree. Breaks the tie. Hamilton on the verge of a 3 1 series lead. Off the faceoff, BGP dumps it into the zone. Taken by Germs. Poked away by Gabe around the boards by the defense. Zam looking to keep it moving. Countryside Jammer is there. D-Man Jerry takes possession. Dumps it up the ice. Countryside Jammer takes it. Goes up the boards to Gabe. Pass to Crab in a tree. Gets past D-Man Jerry. And a shot. Good save by Goose. D-Man Jerry dumps the puck up. Finds Zam, breakaway. And Zam beats the goaltender. We have another tie game with a minute 39 to go. Dildozer off the faceoff, back to his defense. D-Man Jerry lets Germs handle it. 
Abe blocking that pass. Zam staying on it. Goes around the boards. And D-Man Jerry. Not able to get his stick on it. It's taken by Crab in a tree and a shot blocked by Dildozer. Taken by Zam. Pass blocked by Gabe. BG coming in for the shot. Chooses to just dump the puck into the zone. Gabe takes it. Bodies Germs. BG comes in. Sent back to BG. And a shot just wide of the net. Zam lets Dildozer control it behind the net. Pass up the boards. Chooses to dump it. Crab in a tree will get there. Goes back to BG. Dumps the puck up the ice. Looking for Gabe. Pass blocked by Dildozer. Sent back in. Countryside Jammer takes the puck. Six seconds left. And we're going to overtime. Off the faceoff, Gabe wins it. Gets it to BGP. Up the boards, misses Crab in a tree, but that's okay. And gets behind the Hartford net. Gabe pulling away with it. Past the countryside jammer out in front, directed wide. BG with the shot from the point. Good stick work by Goose. He makes the save. Zam misses the puck, so Goose will come out and goes around the boards to D-Man Jerry. Continues moving the puck up. Countryside Jammer. Leaving his zone. Sends the puck to BG. Misses his stick. And some determination. Gets the pass through to Gabe. And now Zam awaits his turn. Loses it. It's taken by Gabe. Loses control of it as he enters the Hartford zone. Now Germs is going to go around the boards to D-Man Cherry. Gets around BG. Germs pulls away. Couldn't get past Crab in a tree. Zam behind his net. Pass to Dildozer. Almost blocked by Countryside Jammer. And a shot goes in. Hartford ties the series up 2-2. Two to two. That's all the LHL action for tonight. take a look at the NHL scores one more time before I let you go. New Jersey over Columbus 3-1. New York Rangers and Pittsburgh Penguins are tied 2-2. St. Louis and Montreal 3-1. Winnipeg down by one against Detroit and New York and Tampa are tied 2-2. I'll see you guys tomorrow for JSL and RSL playoffs. That's at 7 o'clock. See you guys then.